Are we live, Joseph? I, I believe so. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Tasty Thursday with a very special guest. I don't have bartender to the stars. Oh. He is in Greece somewhere, okay? So we have this. Poor him, okay? So here we are <laughs> with our canned drinks. But I do have a special guest. You know her as Spurtle. I know her as my real life bestie. This is, her name's Bryn, but we call her Spurtle. Yeah. It actually feels wrong to call her by her first name. Okay. It's kind of like, I can't do it. You know, she is my Spurtle. I don't have the thing on my phone. Um, <laughs> guest of the, of the week? Well, I don't even know what, yeah. Uh, today's guest, okay? It is my Spurtle. We're going to have a lot of fun. You guys sent in. An oh. unbelievable amount of questions, so which I love questions. you. I think there was about 600 questions, and I'm putting that mildly. There's probably more than that. I Quite literally, Instagram will not let me go far enough to get them all. Um, so that, plus the questions that are coming in live, it's going to be a good time, okay? Uh, what are we making? That's a great question. We are making Greek marinated chicken. One of my favorites. One of our favorites. I'm literally making all the things that we love. This is one of our favorite meals with lemon rice, salad, tzatziki. How can that be bad? Easy. How can that be bad? Um, so let's get to it. There, oh, a toast for Mike. Oh. A toast for Mike. We miss you, Mike. We miss you, Mike. Um, get home. That's great. Mm. 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 Anyway, I would love to know where you guys are joining from oh we do have joe behind the scenes of course but i would love to see i can't see i'd love to hear where you guys are coming from do you like our matching aprons by the oh. way what is happening oh good lord oh good lord why are you so zoomed in on yourself joseph oh, what did I, do? I don't oh, quite know that was, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen i hit the wrong button i was wondering why am i seeing hey, myself holy see, cow did you see the slow oh, yes. that's so funny whoops <laughs> that was great. Mm. Our matching apron mm -hmm. brought to you by a little shop on the Amalfi Coast. My favorite apron. With the rudest owner I ever did meet. No way. Who I could be rude to you? No, way. I didn't. Let me tell you about this story, okay? I go to Amalfi every single year, okay? I've been going there for my whole life, okay? I, due to the world and how things were, missed going for a couple of years in a row, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, I go to Amalfi last year, and it is a completely different Amalfi than I'm used to, okay? It is filled with tourists, and I get it. Everyone's right. free. Everyone feels good. They want to go and travel. Fine. I get that. But the stores are different. What used to be, like, little stores, mom-and-pop shops with, like, the nonas outside painting the pottery. and it's like It's just all mass-produced. This isn't, ain't no nonna stitching Amalfi on here, okay? But you know what? It is but what I it like is. I love it. my apron, okay? I love my apron. I saw them in a the window, and I was like, you know what? We love lemons. We love mm -hmm. blue. We, this is our colors. Mm -hmm. I have to get a matching one for me and Spurtle. So you know how I got your hand towels and whatever? Mm -hmm. So I go in there with my friend Angie, and as a, as a wife should, I have my husband's credit card. What do you want me to do? I don't bring my own wallet. I got two aprons. If you had his credit card, I should have got four. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just... But the, the point is, I really didn't have my bag. I just had Joe's cards and I had my phone, right? So I go in there. I am in line. I have tablecloths. I have aprons. I have napkins. All kinds of stuff. So I go to the counter. She rings me up, does a transaction, then says, I need your husband to sign it. I said, well, he can't because he's out there in a, in a crowd of a million people. She's like, well, it has his name on the credit card. He's got to um. sign it. I said, but I'm on the account as well. So now in Italian, she starts trashing me. Thinking you can't speak Thinking Italian? Thinking I'm an American, okay? I am not the one. I am not the one. Let's just say that. And so... No. <laughs> did she trash my best friend? She no. did. She did. No. 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 Now I need that for the rest of my life. No, I need that for the rest of my life. <laughs> so anyway, she trashed me. I put her in her place. And then I have Angie, who is like maybe oh. five foot two, 110 pounds on a hot day. She was in there like she's a boss. Like, what's going, what's going on? Mm -hmm. She was going to mess somebody up. She was up. like, what's going on? She and was. I was like, listen, I got it under control. It's fine. Um, but yeah, she was awful. But did you speak Italian? Did she of realize? I did. And then she's like, oh, 
I'm so sorry, Senor. I'm so sorry. I'm like too late now, too late now, because she wouldn't want to give me my but money back. But you still bought the apron because she wouldn't give me my money back. <laughs> so I was like, you, I'm either gonna walk out because you already charged me, or you give me my money back. She's like, well, I already rang you up, and I was like, well, then I, I'm gonna take my stuff and go. That's what I did. So mm. now I have the story behind my aprons, my two aprons with Joe's credit card and my tail. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, let's work on the chicken. Um, uh, I'm going to, if she's going to start with some a a a Amazon Instagram <laughs> questions, please. My brain. Okay. Well, I marinate some chicken, which by the way, I'm out of dill. So all I'm going to do to this chicken, I'm going to do some lemon juice, red wine vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, a little onion, a little fresh garlic, did I say olive oil and a little oregano? Yeah. That's all I'm gonna do because and the the this recipe has been one of my favorites for mm -hmm. a long time. The best thing to do with this is marinate it overnight. Mm -hmm. If you can't do it overnight, a couple hours yep. in a Ziploc bag. Yep. Oh my lord. It is amazing. Yes. And it's just like the the acid in the vinegar and the lemon like tenderizes the chicken. It's it's really it really is outstanding. Uh, if you have the dill, it would be great. I don't mm. have dill weed. I don't know what happened to me. I I had a whole list. Could you then, use dry dill? You could. I don't have any. Uh, can we move the, the claws? The claw from the... Uh, oh. Yep, that's it. That's just Laura's. My name. claw was Your in the claw. way. Um, so, so there is a question that goes with the conversation that we were just having. Mm -hmm. And it was, and I know the answer to this because i known Laura mm -hmm. and known of her for a long time. So why don't you have the Italian accent like your dad does? Because I came here when I was really young. And it's much easier to lose an accent when you learn a new language from a really young age. But also... Let's talk about where you learned the language. <laughs> Nancy Grace. I So my stepmom, when I first came here, I was adamant that I was not, and, and this is to no disrespect to my dad, obviously, but I didn't want to be the new girl with a heavy accent. Mm -hmm. You know, I was young. I was only 12. And my stepmom said the best way to learn a language is That's to true. watch the news because everything is enunciated really well. Uh, it's clear when they speak. It's really clear. So I just started watching the news. I put Nancy Grace on. And for a while, I literally had like a bit of a southern tang, twang to my to my vocabulary. Twang. I did a twang <laughs> to my vocabulary. She still has it when she's mad. She when does. she's really mad. Yeah. She people, does. Put, people actually call me out on it. And I don't even notice it. Um, but I think it's just because I learned it really young. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't I was only twelve. And I was, by the way, within six months, could read, write speak and understand english because i was like oh mm -mm, not the one i you want to talk about me i'm gonna know what you're saying and i was yeah very focused and taught myself see mm -hmm. but people that was like multiple questions out mm -hmm. here want to know why where did your accent go i just never um never had one i can't really believe that to be honest with you now some people say I have an accent, but I think they mean like a Jersey accent or a Philly accent. Um, like I don't like to say water, like I don't like to say water, I like to say water. It is water. It's water. It's water. W-O-O-D-E-R. W-O. Yeah, yeah. water. water. <laughs> and I don't say, oh by the way. Do you say water ice? No, water, water ice. ice. Say? Water ice. Yeah. People also trash me for how I say. <laughs> you like my oh, sound thing, right? I do. People <laughs> trash me for the way I say bagels. Bagels. How do I say bagels? Bagels. But am I saying it's it a, wrong? It's a long Why bag. doesn't a seagull fly over the bay? Because it would be called a bagel. It's a bagel. <laughs> am I saying it wrong? Bottom. Am I saying it wrong? No. It's a bagel. People trash me for it. Well, yeah, they trash Joe, who's my husband, because... He says egg. Like it's like egg. an egg. Mm. I like say Brie egg. Bree says, says gas. Because it's a Pennsylvania. It's a, it's a Philly thing. Yeah, gas. You know? My stepmom says gas. The or gas. Like but they don't tell you to cut the grass. They just tell you they need to get gas. I have some gas. <laughs> because it's a Philly thing. I don't know. It's water. Okay, who says water? 
Actually, Mia does. She like enunciates yeah. everything. But it's water. W O O D E D E R. Yeah. That's water. It. Oh, it's water ice. It's, it's water not, ice. It's not water ice. And is it a Jimmy or a sprinkle? It's a Jimmy. What All right, Laura, we got questions person? about what you're making, what you're cooking, what you're oh. grating, what oh, you're... We're, oh, we are doing that? Know. Yeah. Oh, we are doing that, apparently. I'm going to put all this in here. So I'm doing like a Greek marinated chicken, except I don't best. have... I don't have... Um, dill. Dill. And also, I would totally do this on the grill, except it is like torrential pouring outside, hence why we are inside, because I vowed myself that I was going to shoot all of these outside during the summer. Sparta, would you do the honors? Well, what was it that you grated first before the garlic? I grated the shallot. You could also do onion. I just had a shallot, a shallot in We're there. We're doing Greek chicken for Mike. Oh! Because Mike's in Greece. Because Mike is in Greece. And then I added lemon juice, red wine vinegar, olive oil. I'm actually going to do a little bit more olive oil. Yeah. Mike was convinced, by the way, that he was going to perish during this trip. Oh, my goodness. He did his will. He told... No, he, he told, didn't. Oh, yeah. 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 He gave Joe Why all... This? He's like, he here's gave, my passwords in case I don't come back. Kid you not. Here's a key for my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what's going down in Greece. I don't know. Is there like some kind of Greece mob? I don't know. We need to know. I don't know. I is, there a, is there a Greece a Greek mob that is like after him? I don't know. I'm, I would like to know. I need answers. Yeah. So um, he is in Greece and he's living the life. Living his best mm. life. All right, we're good. And well, that looks great. Now put ordinarily, it yeah, put it aside for now. In an ideal world, we would let that marinade. Whoa. All day. Well, we don't have all day. <laughs> we don't Stop have all day. flying over here. <laughs> um, I'm going to have my spurtle get to a couple questions yep. because I'm going to get to a cucumber. Well. <laughs> I think there's lead in our water. I think I've decided <laughs> that there's definitely a problem in this house. Everybody, I don't drink Joe, the water. I don't drink the water here. But Every, am I? Everybody else here drinks the water except for me. What do you drink, Joe? Coke Zero. But am I? So where do we begin? Oh gosh. So I guess. Oh, a lot of and there she goes eating, always putting something in her mouth. How did you meet? Thought. Yeah, I'll tell the story. Okay. Once upon a time. You see, one day, way back when. No, just kidding. So, a few years ago, a mutual friend of ours had a birthday party. Now, mind you, I'm from Jersey. I also like YouTube. I like to cook. So I did follow her, the OG. By the way, this is not only pans. Somebody pointed that out. So enough with the cubes, with the cucumbers. Huh? Oh, she's having fun. But she's eating and not sharing. So we'll just let you know that. Anyway, so I did follow Laura. Thanks. I can't chew with my mouth full and talk. So I, I went to this birthday party. It was at River Winds. River Winds. And it was a bunch of ladies, a mutual friend of ours, 30th birthday? 30th. Fort, no. No, it's her 30th. Girl. 40th? 40th. 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 40th, yeah. And this woman had thought it would be nice for us to meet because of some mutual things. Not uh, She knew that I did follow her, and I was just like, yeah, it would be nice. A little fangirling on the side going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, it would be so cool. My, I am nine years older than Laura, so... Pish posh. I'm old. Pish posh. I heard that on the internet. I don't know if it's a bad thing or not, but a British, they go, pish posh. And I said that, and the other woman around going, pish posh. I'm like, oh, please don't. That could be a really bad word. I don't know. Well, somebody will tell us if it is. Okay. So, to make a long story short, we did not... We met at the party like, hi, how you doing? Pleased to meet you. Fast forward, we get into this mutual group. We are like... <laughs> we are like on this Facebook group of So it was like, COVID. It was the beginning of COVID. No. It, it was, was before 2019. It was before COVID. It was 2019. It was fall of 2019. And now mind you, we had been at this party together a year before, but yeah. we didn't really meet. Mm -mm. And so now it's She thought I was so pretty. I did. <laughs> I comes in with her Chanel. <laughs> I know her fabulosity. And I'm like, mm. mm -hmm. So we were in this Facebook group. There's a mutual friend that we had, Penelope, who was like running this Love like Penelope. Facebook group, was sharing recipes, like all the things, right? And we're just sharing recipes and living life. And and I'm not even joking when I tell you her and I 
when we got on that Facebook group and we both shared recipes that first day, she messaged me on Messenger. She was like, mm, we would be great friends. Text me. <laughs> L- literally. And I was like, you're my soulmate. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Based on literally that first day. Don't do that line. And it was my line. <laughs> and <laughs> we just started texting over like recipes. Mm-hmm. And then we quick, very quickly realized we're the same person. Yeah. It was just, it was so like an easy. instant friendship. Like literally an instant even friendship. Even our families. Like, yeah. Even our families. Both of our husbands' names, Joe. Yeah. So they get along so well. Mm-hmm. Um, Mia is obsessed with her daughter. But it's, you know what? It's an easy relationship mm-hmm. where it's, there's no competition. It's not at all. It's more like a, a sisterly bond mm-hmm. in a way where you need somebody. You don't have to talk every day. You don't have to talk every second. We do. But we, yeah, but we do. <laughs> but if we didn't, you still would pick up right where you left off. Yeah. It, it, you don't need, there's no competition. Mm-hmm. And that's what I feel like since I've gotten older, mm-hmm. I'm like, my circle's really tight. Yeah. I only like certain people. Mm-hmm. And I like her. And I like to think, like, <laughs> one of your, her biggest strengths, if you want to make sure I don't know mm-hmm. one of her biggest strengths She's dictating right now. is... Also, one of my biggest strengths, which is we cheer others on. Yes. Like, especially women. We are going to be your biggest fan, your cheerleader. You yep. need help? We'll help you. You're in a bind? We'll come help you. You need support? We will support. Like, she is like that with everybody. Obviously, me first because I'm the best friend. But she's like that with everybody. And as I am like that with everybody. Like, I remember... Um, Ryan, I forgot his name. We did a cook along together a couple years ago when his book book launched, and I was sharing about his cookbook, and I was so excited. And he said, "Your biggest," um, he said, "Your biggest flex is that you are so genuinely happy when others succeed." Mm-hmm. And that is that is like the number one compliment you can pay me, because I gain nothing out of people succeeding or or failing. But I like to watch people succeed. Why would I want to watch people? not succeed do you know what i mean so she's exactly the same way so when we met and we had that instant connection there was not an ounce of oh she'll be jealous if she saw me on this trip Mm -mm. or vice versa none of that let's be honest she knows she can eat at my house i know right (laughs) same season um so yeah it's so anyway a quick tzatziki by the way shredded uh i was gonna say coconut what is wrong with you i don't know Shredded cucumber, Greek yogurt, obviously non-flavored, lemon juice. Did I put salt in there already? No. Mm-hmm. You need pepper, too. Yeah, I didn't do any seasoning yet. Nope. Salt. I'm going to do pepper. I'm going to do some mint, and I'm going to add some garlic mm. to this. And then the best thing you can do is just let it sit, right? All of these things would be great if you let that sit because the flavors meld. The flavors come through. It's it's what makes it so delicious. I'm going to grab some mint, Yep. which it's already been washed. Look at this. Mm-hmm. It does smell really good. It's from the garden. And I would love to be excited about this, but my gosh, this mint is strangling everything in my garden. There's so much mint, I can't get rid of it fast enough. Um... So, yeah. So anyway, back to my story. We've been friends for a while now. COVID Mm -hmm. happened. um, And it was, we lived in adjacent towns. So there was no eggs. There was no bread. I got a best friend that makes it. And she's got chickens. So guess what I got every day? I made a fresh loaf of bread for her every day. Had fresh eggs for her every day. Two loaves. Um, mm Mm-hmm. But you know what it is? She's there. Like, if I was on the side of the road and I called Joe, I know he would come get me. Same with my Joe. Mm-hmm. And her daughter and my daughter are very tight. Mm-hmm. And it's just... It's one of those friendships that's kind of like we were easy. meant to be friends. We were probably meant to be related. Mm-hmm. And it's just a really easy... Like, I would never in a million years would have to worry about her holding a grudge or mm-hmm. her sending bad vibes it's just not like that like that with us nope. at all plus it's like we're not in high school we we we're just that's not our life we like i said encourage each other encourage others yep. we work really hard i give her ideas about her you know uh, her businesses she gives me ideas about my businesses and and i don't know we thrive that way yeah but if she succeeds i succeed vice versa see like see see <laughs> joe are you bored yet 
Yeah, I was just thinking about the fact that I had a conversation with your dad the other day that resulted in me going to a Harbor Freight to buy a welder, and in the process, I walked into a uh, family dollar that was being robbed because I was talking Listen. to the... I was trying to find... Oh, I didn't tell you this. No. no. I went to go buy the welder that your dad your said dad I should get because he told me, you need to learn how to MIG weld. I was like, all right, I, I need another hobby. Let me go get that. Mm -hmm. And I go to buy this thing, and on my way into the driveway, I see a guy get hit by a car on a motorcycle. What? Right, mm -hmm. Yeah, right in, the, right in front of me, like 600 feet in front of me. So I go to turn around and go check to see if the guy's okay. It turns out you can't get out that side of the driveway. So I, I, I go like oh farther God. down, and I see these two cops at a family dollar. And I'm like, all right, great. There's cops here already. I walk in. I'm beeping the horn like a nut. I walk in. The alarm's going off. There's nobody there. It was like an apocalypse. Like the store is empty. And I'm like, hello, anybody here? And the cops walk out. They're like, can we help you? I'm like, yeah, somebody just got hit by a motorcycle right out front. And they're thinking I'm a crazy person. Like they're looking at me like, this guy's not for real. He must be, he's involved in the robbery somehow. So they come outside. <laughs> we don't see it now. I'm like, where'd it go? I don't see the guy. I should see the guy. He just got up and run. Turns out it wasn't a motorcycle. It was an electric scooter. A scooter! And Wait. He, and he wasn't crossing at the intersection. That's why we didn't see him. So he was spot. afraid. He, oh, he was. Oh, no. He, he was. His scooter was broken into 15 pieces. The pieces of the car everywhere. And the car was gone. I think it was a hit and run. But anyway, all because of the welder. All because your dad told me, you got to buy this to learn how to make so we, one. We're not going to go there with my dad. Okay. So... <laughs> So I'm going to tell him all about it next time I see him. But but I got to learn how to how to weld first. He told me. That, I'll give you his number. You can yeah. text him. He told me that uh, stick welding with arc welders is 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 old, and I need to I need to learn something new. The colonoscopy story is still by far. The he best says it's a story. scam, so he won't go. He won't go. <laughs> it's a scam. It's a scam. He's probably right. It's a scam. When you get into that final chapter, he does. He's just. Listen, you you say it's a scam. I say Jack calls it like he sees it. Part of the reason he says it's a scam, though, is he says that at his age, they won't do anything anyway. So why should I even get it done? Right. He says, what's the point? It's a scam. He's hilarious. But all I know is Jack is influencing my husband to become a welder. Well, no, um, no, no. I already know how to weld. I learned when I was 12 years old. It's just that the type of welding I, I do, welding. he says, is just not the good kind. So, you know, I can't be left in the dark here. Got to learn something new. I tell you this. This week has been a very long month. Mm-hmm. Get it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Kimmy's in. Hi, Kimmy. Hey. Oh, and we got a super friend. chat from Brenda, by the way. Brenda thank you, Brenda. We love you. Oh, and also, gosh. Brenda, thank She's you for moderating. Friends, so I like her. Yeah, I She's like her username. Sweet. She's super sweet. She's in her apron. I have been following Kimmy I think Kimmy I'm always in my apron. I'm always in my apron. I have more aprons and underwear. You know why? Because... I get everything on my shirt yeah. all the time. But no matter what, it fails. I, we go out to eat dinner, and the kids are like, Mom, it's always on my shirt. And I think I got that from Jack, my father. Yeah. He always gets stuff on him. It's but my dad. But to me, my apron is like a cape to a superhero. Like, I feel yeah. naked if I'm home without an apron on. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a comfort thing. My mother always wears an apron. I don't but see, sometimes you tuck this down, and you wear it. Yeah, I need the feeling of this. But this is the But part. that does nothing for me. It's all up here. This is where I catch it. Uh, yeah, some, sometimes I do do a half. Uh, you know what it is when I do a full? Listen, this is my boobies on bake, okay? I'm on boobies. <laughs> and sometimes, see, this just doesn't quite do it. Yeah, but it blocks the drip for me or the splash. Hmm. For me, it's not. I mean, it is about the splish I've, and the splashing, but it's so more about... Shirts. The comfort, this for me is like the comfort thing. It's like your whoopee. Yeah, it's like my comfort thing. So <laughs> without it, I feel very, very naked. Um, oh, the rice. Okay, you get to questions. I'm going to get to rice. Okay. All get right, the rice. Right. Get the rice. More, more, more. Rice. All okay. right. Okay. Uh, the big question, why is my name Spurtle? Why is your name Spurtle? There's so many questions rolling in back here. What is this? Very. Is your iPad still charged up over there, honey? Yes. What is this? The lunch lady arm. Oh <laughs> what is it? Hello. I want to be. I want to be a lunch lady. Why do at my I have a school. weenus up here? Oh, I'm look feeling. What the look what the spurtle can do now. I'm feeling... Hold the arm up. No. Oh. Oh. Really? <laughs> I'm feeling. I'm feeling feral. Okay. What is this? I got it too, and I'm nine years. But see, I was working out earlier, and I'm thinking, wow, my, my back is looking good. What is this? Oh. <laughs> this is his fertile. You explain the story. No, you're supposed to explain the story. Mm -mm. Joe, cute that, picture. All right. Oh, Hold they, on. Wait, wait. I'll tell you, you when. You didn't send me the picture. I, I sent you the picture. Wait, where did you send me the picture? To your, I texted it to you. you. Texted me a picture. I have a picture of my baby on here. That's it. No. Hold on. Oh, you got, I, it's not here. It never what? came through. Yeah, just kind of, you know what it is? Text? It's because it's an Apple and it didn't. It wasn't on at the time. And sometimes it, it just no, it says delivered. It says delivered. Yeah, but it delivered to my phone, not to my computer. All right, so I'll do oh. it again. 
Actually, the last thing I have on here is from 728. That doesn't make any sense. All right, so so hear me out. I'll, I'll find a way. There, are, So COVID happens. Everybody, what are we doing? We're cooking, we're watching TV, and an infomercial comes on. And it's a woman, right? And she gets on, she's like, multi-use, it's a spurtle. You can stir, you can spoon, you can mm -hmm. serve, you can even crack an egg and have the egg white separate from the yolk. And if you buy now, the one spurtle, you'll get three for free. Mm -hmm. So Joe and I, my husband, said, why isn't Laura on an infomercial for the spurtle? This is, this is the best thing I ever saw. So then he decides he is going to Photoshop my face. The king I'm, I'm, of Photoshop. I'm up here. He is the king of Photoshop. You have got to pull up the Photoshop picture Niagara of Falls. you <laughs> on that poof float. Because it must be the best thing I ever saw. They come randomly. So, so if you know my husband, my husband, when he finds an opportunity for a laugh. Mm -hmm. he... Okay, we have the uh, photo on oh. screen here to Bryn's right. You can't. And it's the, the it's this, this picture. <laughs> you can't see it. I get, it's a screen grab. It appears to be a screen grab of Laura's Instagram with the simple multi use utensil set. And your photoshopped, you can't see it on your side there. You'll see it in a minute. I'm and trying. it's got a photoshopped picture of Laura holding it up, it appears. Because we're delayed here. For so oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> That's the best. The simple multi use, but the best part about that infomercial that you can't see in the picture. The best part about it is that it said replace all of your of your utensils, including yep. your meat mallet. I so see. So you would take yeah. all like, of these. What the hell is this? Yeah, and the commercial was like, take she, all, all these, these and she dumps them. Yep. <laughs> and replace them with a spurtle, <laughs> including a meat mallet. The hell is this going to do for my meat? What is this going to do for my meat? Okay? I don't even have a meat mallet down here. I used mine today for lunch. I, I'm gonna tell you what. I don't even I, think you need knives, really. You could probably do everything with that. It was literally, it this woman was like, dump all of your utensils. Uh, all you need is a spurtle. Yeah. And the meat mallet part had me dying. Okay, so somebody I think thinks that it was actually you selling them on QVC. No! No! <laughs> no. We wish. Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, okay, do, could you I'm reenact available. it? Can you show me, show me all the uses. Show me how, you know, I think you should do the rest of this show with just the spurtle. A spurtle. She will do it. I'm looking for, for okay. this. I'm so I do to... use, I really use this one. I, I use it a lot, as you can tell. I use it for my And then sauce. we got them for you for your birthday. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then how did I get them? So we went out, Brie, you and me. Mm -hmm. We always go out for our birthdays. And we went out and they had a, it's no gifts. Don't buy a gift. Like the gift no. is just us being together. Yeah. And they were like, no, we had to buy you this gift. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, seriously, what? you don't have to buy me anything. And I opened it up. It's the, the spurtle. spurtle. And I, I think we peed ourselves. We probably did. We were in this restaurant hysterical laughing. People were like, what are they laughing at? This woman got wooden. Because <laughs> this. You don't need that. It's the same thing as that. <laughs> I wonder if we can be like a rolling I pin too. I quite literally cannot. You know the Spurtle people are probably watching this and they're, they're probably- Call us. Please call me. Know. Okay, please call me. Text, call, email. Call, text, email, all the things. We're available. Definitely available. So what she's doing over here, Joe, you might want to pan over. She's getting ready for the rice. Yes, lemon rice. Lemon rice all you the way. You need water, or you could use chicken stock, but you know I use water and then I use some chicken bouillon powder. Oh, look at me. Look what I'm going to use. A spurtle! I'm the baby use, spurtle. I'm use a baby spurtle. So, okay, we can't cook with anything else but the spurtle. Just spurtles. That's it. What, what how? About, what about, how are we going to get it in? What are we trying that's, to get that's in? What she, that's what she Stop it. This is <laughs> not, that, only, it's not only pans. <laughs> not only pans. That's what she not said. Not only pans, people. Uh, how are we going to get the chicken in? Hold on. Wait, we could do it with a spurtle. I got the, the thing, the rice. No, no, the water, the chicken bouillon. You can just use chicken stock. Mm -hmm. Rinsed long grain. Whoa, rice. somebody's running around upstairs. That camera shook yeah, a little me. bit. Yeah, it's me. Lemon juice. And then I'm also going to add. I'm sending another picture, Joe. A little olive oil, a little salt. Yeah. And then we let that cook. Oh my God. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to. Um, I don't know which one to send. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Which one is. What is it? I'm mm. scared. When am I coming over to Gilbert for a sleepover again? Because that was the best weekend I had in a really long time. Listen, I learned how to paddleboard, and then on my second time on the paddleboard, so I took funny. passengers with me. Come on, what am I, I mean, doing next? That was risky for them. 
so yeah, I moved. Mm -hmm. COVID happened. I moved. So I am not getting the eggs and the bread anymore. But we did move down the shore. Um, best move for our family, which was nice. Bad move for me. Well, not really. No, you I summer. Really love, I love coming down to your house. Yep. So we are planning. Joe, my husband, wants to take Laura fishing. I think that's a great idea, and I think we should make a, like, like a nice video of it, night fishing especially. Yes, and it's Laura be on night a boat, fishing. I mean, she so if you're a member, fairy. you're going to get that exclusive footage of my girl in you orange. You don't understand orange. the fear I have of being on the water at night. So I'm going to have to have one Gordon the drinks. fisherman hat, overalls, boots. Yes, and she's going fishing for striper. Striped bass, for those that aren't local, we call it striper. In the night. Yeah, in the night. I'm going to be drunk And then she's going to learn how to gut them and clean oh, them. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yes, you have to learn. I can't. Listen. And then we uh -huh. make amazing sandwiches. Mm -hmm. We make a mm -hmm. fried striper. There's mm -hmm. nothing. It's like kind of like a fried Oreo. Like, it's really good. Fried striper. Yeah. Um, blackened uh -huh. striper. You name it. Live. On so the bay, gosh. the Delaware Bay, Laura Vitale, coming at you <laughs> I'm soon. Um, guess who's going to go to Italy with me next summer? And it's not official, but if I'm putting it out on the interwebs. I think you kind of just did. If I'm going to put it out on the interwebs, it makes it official. Joe, get your credit card ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually going to give her only credit cards with my name on them from now on. <laughs> and then I'm all, I'm safe. That was quite, that was quite. We're not good. allowed to use anything else. We're not allowed. We're going to use this. I can't one. see. All right, I we're gonna get say. we're gonna get to another question. Oh, Joe, yeah. you have that. Um, that I, I'm working on it for some reason. Apple. So we'll get back crazy, to yeah, my Joe thing. and the um, mastermind Photoshopper oh, that he is. My, you don't even <clears throat> understand. You don't even understand. We can't okay? go there. We have so many Photoshop pictures. It's insane. Who can hold their alcohol best? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. We really don't. We drink. don't. All I need is it's one all of these. Act. We don't really need alcohol. We just laugh. But if you give me one of these and my veins get hot, then I'm like extra So fun. I guess we are the cheap drunks because oh, yeah, it's like just are. one. Mm -hmm. I'm not one. Here's the thing. I don't like to not feel in control. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I don't like to feel woozy. No. I don't like to feel out of control. No, I don't no, like listen, a she, had, she was at my house for the weekend and she was like, oh, it's night in Venice and we're going to get lit. I'm going to do shots and we're going to have a good time. I think we had two drinks. We had a great Two time. Of these. We had a great time. We had a great time. We made some great TikToks. Actually, Instagram we, videos. Yeah, where's that ball? We have to do the ball one tonight. Oh! <laughs> Hold so, your thought. Yes. So we did we did some some good footage. We are not as flexible as others. Yes, we are. Um, my friend Joe Vitale actually had a fabulous time out in the paddleboard and the, it was something else. And I'll the kayak. You. Yeah. I took and my sister-in-law out for I a did. ride. Yep. Wait. <laughs> took Big Mare out for a ride. Not only did I, I take a like the paddle. I'm more proud of myself for the paddleboard. <laughs> Bend your knee. Do we still know what this means, Joe? <laughs> Which Joe? Me, Joe, or yeah, Joe? Yo! I don't remember that one. <laughs> oh my god. All right. My sister in law is a good for a laugh. Oh, she's, she's so hilarious. Funny. She's a good soul. Yeah, she's she is. freaking hilarious. She is. All okay. right, so I've got a couple of pictures that Bryn just sent me here. I'm going to oh pop up god. the first one here. You guys aren't going to see it on your heads up display there. Okay. I'm going to see it but here. But this though, one right? is not the New York one. You're going to see it on there delayed. So I'm going to tell you, it's up there right now. It's just a big wave. This is me surfing out in, uh, you guys uh, know the picture. This is me surfing in a tube. So I was riding around in this pineapple tube out in the back bays, just floating around, and I was totally innocent in this. I didn't know people were taking my picture and photoshopping it. And um, so funny. It's great. So you should see it now. Right no, I took that picture of Joe. I always have to take pictures of the people that are around me because I want to have these memories. Yeah. And you never know, right? You just want to have pictures so you can go back oh, to. Oh, here it is. Ah, it's small. What this do you see on your harder. screen there, Laura? What do you see on your? Oh my. Oh, oh my. God. <laughs> my gosh. He's so. I can't. I can't. Yo, I can't. you really ripped that wave. And of course, they couldn't help themselves. They put me out there with the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Wait, where's Niagara Falls one? Do we mm. have the Niagara Falls The Niagara one? Falls one. I don't think I have that one. It, that one's really my favorite. The Niagara Falls one was pretty good. So, there you go. That, that was so, my experience. So, Joe will take a picture. I took the picture. And if it's a good picture, he will then, you know, put it out there and do whatever he wants to do for a laugh. 
again, back to Mare, my sister-in-law, and yeah. Mike, who everybody loves, they were dancing because my neighbor oh, had yeah, this yeah, huge yeah. band. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, yeah. That's so good. So they had this band. So we obviously can't have music because they have a band and we're just, we're like big family. So we're sharing it. And Mike and Mare were dancing and I don't know. Mare has no rhythm. Mare has no rhythm and she knows it. She'll tell you, I have no rhythm. Well, she was out there and Joe just did like a boomerang of it. And him and Mike was doing this and Mare was doing this. And they look like the, the Charlie Brown dance. Yeah, they did. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Actually, when Mike was dancing, Amazing. you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of the little dolls. It's a small world after all. It's all I can think of. <laughs> Mike's going to watch us later. He's going to kill us. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Oh, um, that was great. We like to do these weird challenges, and i got to show you this one, okay? Oh, my God. I'm going to try and put this. I'm going to try and mute it so I don't get a copyright strike. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Uh, come in, yeah, come into the main camera there. Yep, yep. More and more and more. Uh, right there. Now we can see. There's a little glare turned to the side. Okay, I want to see if we can do this. But my ball is small. It doesn't... It's not done yet. It's just a little one. <laughs> I think it won't oh. go over. It is TikTok. Yeah. It's rude when it says your network's unstable. It actually looks like a reel. It's rude. <laughs> but look at this. We can do all... We can do that. We can definitely do that. Yeah, I think you can definitely pull Oh, look at that small ball, though. This is a baby ball. A, Let's try. There's okay. a beach ball outside somewhere. Okay, oh, hold there on. you go. Oh, you have a ball. We have a ball. Oh, shoot. Okay. You got to hold your drink. I gotta right, hold how do my we drink. start? Okay. All right. Which way are we going first? Which, which way? I don't know. I don't know yet. Um. Oh. All right, you ready? You turn that way. Which way? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, go, go. No, go. See, that wasn't that bad. Okay. That Hold was on. one of your Ready? better challenges. Wait, we just I'll be did honest. it. No, it's not done yet. Now it's got to... Oh, wait. What? What? Got to put this on your back. Get it on your back. Yeah. Okay. Now we go up and down. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. What did she just do? She went between her legs. <laughs> How'd she do that? We need a bigger... We, we oh, need... I can't do that. Wait, wait, wait. You ready? I'm full. Ready? Ready? Okay. Wait. All right. Okay. Uh, we just got a comment that says they sip in the savage sauce. I'm <laughs> curious, you know, no! like, if you're tuning in right now, this is a cooking show. We're just waiting for something to boil. Uh, we haven't gotten too far off track um, here. We won! But in the meantime, where's everybody tuning in from? I'll start, oh, yeah. We'll start reading off. We'll start reading them off. Let's get some shout outs going. And uh, you know what? A, a big... <laughs> Gabby. Uh, we usually get quite a few people from Hawaii, and it's very sad to see what happened out there. I can't um, even talk about it. it I checked it, in with I, my friends that are out there, and it's just terrible. I cannot even talk about it. It's horrific. It is horrific. Any girls' trips planned to MTL? Listen. Hey, what is MTL? <laughs> Does anybody... Is that Montreal? We had we were debating this before we started here. What is it's, MTL? No, I thought it's not. It's capital M. Is, is that the airport code? I'll bet you it's Montreal. It's probably Somebody the airport Google code. Google it, please. Is that the airport code? What's the airport code? MTL. Hi, Gab. Hi, Gab. Oh, also, somebody here? just commented yeah, that the Mary here. Jane is is legal in New Jersey, and they think that's what's going on here. The no, Mary they're, Jane? They're just, they're I don't just, know. Just, they're, this I is don't how they normally are. Zero. I haven't ever smoked a cigarette. Oh, look at this. We got them rolling in. Durham, North Carolina, Montana. Long Beach, California, Florida, Australia, Virginia. Wow. Is it true that in Australia you can fight a kangaroo? Uh, listen, no, listen, I ain't fighting them. No, no, you don't they're, try. They, they fight you. They they're fight gonna you. They're going to kick your butt. Yeah, they'll, they'll come for you. Yeah, they're you ever hardcore. Seen them? They're, they're ripped. Bro, I... With a baby in their pouch. They'll be like, whoa, 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 yep. whoa. And they're ripped. Oh, oh come on. you want? That's exactly on. what they look uh -huh. like. Uh-huh. Not prepared for <laughs> that. And they're, and they're, they're always ready. They're always bouncing around like, like come no. at me, bro. Mm. Japan, Minnesota, California. Hello from Georgia. We got some peach emojis. Whale queen. Sweat from here to my toe. I'm so wait, wait, wait. What what is your favorite thing to cook together? Montreal. I think. I don't I, okay, think so it's someone one said thing Montreal, I love but to cook together. But I mm. I love our tomatoes. It is Montreal. Like the tomato yeah. making process. But here's the rule. You see, she's a queen at cooking all and baking all. I'm a queen at cooking some things. You I mean, can do anything. But, but there are really certain things that you just don't ask for. Like I don't I don't make wet napkins. She makes wet napkins. Yeah. That's just the rule. It's... I won't touch crab sauce. She doesn't. I will not. macaroni. It is. It's That's thing. her thing. And I couldn't make it as good. So I wouldn't even attempt. You know what I mean? But as a little kid, I would never... I would 
go to my friend's house and then mm -hmm. I would make an excuse because we didn't have cell phones. My mom needs me home before the light, you know, the mm -hmm. street lights come on. So I didn't have to eat because right. it was like uh, Chef Boyardee. Not right. that that's bad, but it was You're Chef not used, Boyardee. You weren't used to my it, My mom though. used to make everything from scratch. Right. So it was, you know. So when I come here, I feel like I'm at home. Yeah. I'm always going to eat good at your house. You're always going to eat good here. Um, that's never even a, a oh. question. Will you two awesome girls be canning tomatoes this year? In two weeks. And can that be a part of Tasty Thursday? Mm. Oh, we can't. Uh -uh. There's no way. It is yes. such a big operation yeah. no. that... Woo! And there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of moving parts to it. We need everybody involved. Joe's involved. My siblings. Like... Gabby watches Mia. It is a huge is production. Mia. And then the boys come at the end and we eat. Yeah. We do eat. We make sausage and peppers. Mm -hmm. She each. sleeps over for two nights. This is the best. Mm -hmm. It's just so much fun. It it's is. just so easy. So when you can go to a friend and you can sleep over and you could wake up and you, they're in your kitchen making coffee or oh, doing it's whatever. It's, it's, just, it's just easy. Yeah. Agreed. Right. Agreed. I'm just back here washing lettuce. People are I'm excited. Not doing not one. What kind of shenanigans can we expect from a typical girls' night out with Fertile? Oh gosh. Listen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we even answer that question, did you book the next concert? You said you were oh, going to do it tonight. Tonight, while you're here, I do Is it. This, um, we're gonna go see Gigi. Enrique Iglesias, or? No. Oh, that's my favorite one. Oh my yeah, no ma. Yeah, no. So I. Gigi, we're gonna go see Gigi. So she was supposed to book Tonight Mark I'm doing Anthony it. earlier. I did. You got Mike to do it. Because you okay. were afraid to I do it. I can't book myself. You don't understand. Okay? Oh, I, I don't book my own travel because once I did and I booked myself in the wrong year. Okay? So I'm banned from booking travel. I am banned from booking hotels because apparently New York City and New York State are two different things. But you know what? It was an easy mistake. Hey, listen, Can't do that anymore. It happens to the best of us. I, I booked the banned. car in the wrong city. I thought I was going to Fort Lauderdale. See? I was going to Miami. And I also booked my trip backwards one time. I, I booked am... it from, from Fort Lauderdale to Philly. I'm banned. Instead of the other way around. They were like, you, you're going the wrong way. I am you. banned from booking concerts without an adult near me because last time I did that, oh. I didn't know that there would be a pole in front of me and that I couldn't see, okay? I didn't know. And she so, was not pole dancing. Couldn't see. So I needed Mike's help and Mike helped me and tonight they're going to help me. Somebody said Laura me. loves Enrique. I can tell by the way she screamed and pointed out at Joe. Watch out for Enrique, Joe. I swear if one more person... Mix this up, Mark Anthony and Enrique Iglesias. I'm gonna go feral. I swear, not the same. They're not the same. Not the I same. I thought it was like a stage name or something. Oh, good looking. I'm just... I swear to God, it's brutal. It's not the same. I take either one. Not the same. Laura, you are goals. How do you keep it all together, heart? Heart. Well, here's how I keep it all together. This is what you get. What you see is what you get. That's all. If I can't be my hot mess express of myself, then you don't get me. And All right, so um, what are we doing with this lettuce over here? We got a pile oh, of lettuce oh. in the back here. That's trash. Wait, that's... you didn't use the spurtle. You didn't I use... can't cut you with the spurtle. You gotta try it. You have to try it. You have to at least attempt I it. I attempt. cannot chop with the spurtle. <laughs> Did you How try? How am I supposed Go ahead. Hold on. You know what? You want to talk smack? You're going to wash. You're going to try and gonna, cut them with the smacking. spurtle. We're smacking. We're okay. smacking and not lip smacking. You want to talk smack? Yeah, come on now. Guess what Joe's been no, doing. Wait, just go out. I, sometimes they overheat in the ceiling if you okay. leave them on for a long time. Guess what Joe's been doing? He's been ripening tomatoes in a bag, and they've been amazing. In a bag. Joe, you are amazing. I would not go that far, but what I'll tell you is that none of my tomato plants that I planted turned out nice this year. The one that I didn't plant that just showed up out of nowhere, amazing. So I harvest all those oh tomatoes. Mm. <laughs> are we spurtling the lettuce? I'm waiting for this. Now somebody is not only me telling me I'm proclaiming love for Enrique Glaces, but they're also calling me Lauren. It's not working. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not working. Mm. The spur Let it go. I think cut. this is user error. That should Let it go. Work. Just forget Did that just that was ever a thought. Just succumb no, to can't. the fact that the spurtle does not replace every tool in the kitchen. Just, just succumb to Where the fact. Where do you want them? Okay. Just succumb to that fact, okay? It's fine. Okay, for anyone just fine, tuning I'm in, fine. they want to know what we're cooking. We are cooking, we're doing a salad, 
we're doing Greek chicken, lemon rice. We made some tzatziki, mm. and we're being fresh. These are so cute, Joe. Are they cute? They're like little. Oh yeah, that's one of the ones that I actually did plant this year. That's a room. Oh my god, they smell so And they're so really good. that mm -hmm. that one I ripened in a bag with a banana. And mm -hmm. man, I'll tell you what, that ethylene that the banana gives off gives them the best flavor. Smell it. Taste taste a little piece of that. I, best, I was just, best tomato. I was just gonna dip in it. Telling you. No tomatoes did good this year. I've Except, heard from yeah. so. Oh my god! Is that not the Put best tomato? Put it in a bag with a banana. Had? As soon as it changes color, the slightest bit, take is it off it the plant. Not the best tomato. Put it in a bag with a banana. I got this big giant like it's leaf insane. bag. You know, so for, like, when are you going to start doing them so we can can them? Well, I, this one plant has like a hundred tomatoes on it. But Way too many. I also tried it with some that are completely green, and they're finally starting to turn. And if that works, I'll do that too. So good. It's the best tomato that I think I've tasted in years. So you will get some some videos of us canning but i think you do have it on your feed don't you i have a huge post yeah. i will do another one i have reels i have a membership video all about the process i'm going to try and maybe joe can put together a shortened version for youtube it's just really what do you think it's long it's just so much so so much how so many much. how many are we doing this year same as last year 30 cases what do you think yeah was I'm it 30 or 20? How many did we do last time? I think we did 22. We did, no, we had 30 last 20. year. We did 20 I'll, I'll the check. year before. Whatever it was, it fit in the back of the Toyota, so we have to figure out how many yeah, fit. Yeah, how many fit in the back. Uh, well, I'm excited. It's going to be great. It's just fun. It's a lot of memories, and we dance, and... It is. It's, a, it's the best time. It really is. Somebody said outside lives are the best. I look forward to those. Well, it's pouring rain out oh, there. We look forward to them, too. It's raining men. Pouring down And uh, it's raining. It's raining men. And... Um, it is. Uh, we look forward to it. We're not sure what we're going to do in this winter time. We'll just we'll just ride out as long as we can. We'll put Laura out there in a winter I'm coat. I'm out there with a heater and a hoodie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just need a heater and a hoodie. Or just That's turn it. on the oven. Heater and a hoodie. That's what we're going to call the series. Heater and heater a hoodie. hoodie. Heater and a hoodie. I'll be out there until Christmas. Don't think I won't. Also, I have a great idea for a November Tasty Thursday. I think we should do it to pizza night. Still. We did pizza with Uncle Tony. Oh. But I have a great idea. Could you move that um, that strainer for me? I have a great go. idea for November. Thanksgiving in an hour and a half. Whoa. A full Thanksgiving meal. Whoa. Obviously not a whole turkey, but if you only had an hour and a half to make a Thanksgiving dinner, this is what you'd make. What do you guys think? Reservations. <laughs> because. I mean, not wrong. Thanksgiving in an hour and a half. Oh, well, someone said, have you two ever gone into a fight or argument? Any Only when they for... pretend to be kangaroos when I'm not, you know, <laughs> when Any they forget advice? that they're not Maybe kangaroos. she's yelled at me when I talk trash about myself. Yes. Because I she's have. She's not allowed to talk mean about herself because that is talking bad about my best friend. I'll fight. I'm 47. Let's just get it out there. So I'm and there. fabulous. Somebody said something mean to Mike on Facebook today and Laura jumped in on it and then I pounced on it. That's and Laura says to me, she calls me. Nobody makes fun of my best friends but me. So let me tell you a story. I would never make fun oh. of my best friends. But you're not allowed to be fresh with my best friends. I'm I... Placed, or my or your family. Because uh -uh. so somebody I... body shamed him today. Was on Mike? His personal yeah. Facebook. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't and you know what? I didn't see that. And you know what? I, I responded to him. Today. I the guy said lie. something along the lines of you can't have um No, or have like him no was Mike took a picture. Mike is something. in Greece. Let me tell mm -hmm. the story, okay? Mike is in Greece. And he took a picture of the little plate of food at the airport, okay? Yeah, at the it's Greek airport, airport food. No, not the Greek airport. It was cute. It was like a little donut. Yeah, and it a was like the sandwich. It was cute. American Orange Airlines juice, thing. Juice, whatever. Okay, I right. turned it off too. Oh, okay. And someone commented and said something like, "Oh, sugar and carbs. I see you. You're not far from oh, something like that. Okay. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. That's a good time for that. Okay." Now when you're ripping things Anybody that knows Mike pictures. and has known Mike for years knows what a journey he's been on. He's, he's um, Mike is amazing. Yep. If you see the pictures from the beginning and of where his journey. he but but as a, an amazing person that will do anything for anybody and has mm -hmm. a heart of gold and will just Oh, you need to go here. Oh, no, you need to go there. Yep, let's He's go. He's great. And you want to go to a dare. concert in North Philly? You need a ride? I'm taking you, and I'm going to come back to your house and hang out and watch your daughter. Then I'm going to go back and pick you up. Don't you Mike. dare talk about my friend. No. I will No. I will kill. So I come to his defense because yeah. don't you dare body shame my friend on his personal Facebook. And you're supposed to be somebody that knows him personally. If you know him personally, you know what kind of person that he is. You know who he is. You know his journey. <laughs> I will end you. 
from now <laughs> he'll never come next year. he's never commenting on facebook again okay so, i think he so we're going to also talk guy. about so i live in ocean city and laura was on the boardwalk and she was with angie so she was with angie and and mia and and angie's son and they're, i don't play they're like a match adorable adorable so i was home because they were enjoying themselves and you were waiting for I Gabby live in to come Ocean home City. from dance. I don't need to be on the boardwalk all the time. And so she was enjoying herself. And she said, where is Joey? Her and son. I, my son. And I said, he's uh, hanging out with friends at the That's house. That's another Joe, by the way. Yeah, we have more Joes. So she says, oh, really? Okay, good. And I said, why? And then I get no response. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Why? So there were a few so kids that were calling my son. Or saying something about my like, son. They were they were talking right. ill will about Joey, and I heard it. And, and I and I you would know one. because my son has a, a specific handle on Instagram. Yeah. So they were saying that handle, and she knows the handle. Um, so she was like, "How do you know Joey?" And they were like, "Oh, are you his mother?" I was like, "I could be. Oh, I could be." Meanwhile, she's recording it. Sure am. <laughs> recording sure the conversation. Am. I don't think so. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh uh. I don't like that. I don't stand for bullying. I don't stand for body no. shaming. I don't stand for any of that. And if you want to be that type of person, that's fine. You have the, the you have the right to do that, but you also have rights to consequences to your actions. And the consequences is going to be a five foot three Italian with absolutely no patience and the temper of an eighty nine year old nonna. If you can match that, say what you want. Don't don't spew it. If yeah. you can't take it, don't she dish it. will fight for your kids. To the death. That's it. Don't mess with kids. All right. That's enough of the death talk. I think people <laughs> over here are calling the FBI. Call them, okay? Call, Call the FBI, okay? Call the FBI. Next question. Next question. That's all right. Laura will just call her contact and then never mind. Call them off. I'll call Couch. I got a guy for that. I'll call Couch. <laughs> I got a guy for that. <laughs> Have you freezed eggplants before? I have not, and I don't know that they would do well because, excuse me, because eggplants are like a sponge, mm. and I feel I like they would plants. just absorb all of that moisture and all then become water. Token, though, I just saw a TikTok of someone who freezes oh their tomatoes, and they just I saw, did you see that? And they, but I can't do it. I can't. No. But it looks like you take them out and they peel the skin yeah, comes right off. It's it. like blanching oh them without. I can't cooking. do it. I can't do it. I can't part from tradition, Joseph. I so is it all about tradition? I mean, she's they didn't have freezers show. way back in the day when that tradition started. Now they have freezers. I have she's a got a knife. freezer big enough to hold 30 bushels of tomatoes. I'm all not right. talking about 30 bushels. What's your I'm favorite talking about food to eat on a rainy ones. day? Pasta. Totally. Or fresh bread. Totally. With burrata, roast tomatoes, napkins. some eggplant, fried peppers. Now the ladies are sliding up in the chat and asking if Mike's single again. No. He's not. Too bad he's not here. He is not single. Somebody asked, this is a good question for Joe, and I want a real authentic answer. Oh Somebody boy. said, Joe, how do you deal with Laura and all her craziness? <laughs> That's a good one. Well, you see this house is bigger than our old one, so there's a couple places I can go hide. And every room that I have that's mine, I don't know if she noticed this yet, but there's a combination lock on the door, and she doesn't know any of the codes. So Joe has a secret room. I just go in my secret rooms, and I disappear. That's the only way. Oh, but come on, be serious. You she's, love me. She's not that crazy. No. I mean, I am, not. but you love it. You see, Joe is the perfect calm to the storm. That's that what means. I've always called him. See? The calm I've to the storm. I've always called him. I said he is the calm. I'm, he's the calm to my storm. I've always you called him. You can't have two people that are like this. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> There's the horns. There's the horn. It bam, just bam, won't bam, work. Bam. He makes me... He keeps me grounded. What is happening up there's, there? There's uh, every time we go live or we, or we film, we say, hey, just don't oh, move around too fabulous. much upstairs above us. This. And, you know, there's gymnastics. So you got that? I got that. It's beautiful. Um, get a nice how about on. like this? You got it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Here oh, that looks beautimous. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you guys aren't here to eat. Uh, isn't it? I said, hear me out, and I want your opinion on this. I... <laughs> I want to do a, um, what is it called? A meet and greet. A meet and greet. I really want to do a big meetup with all the people that I chat with on Instagram all day because those little? are the real ones. Girl, good luck. It's Try it. it. No, Try no, it. No, it, it. Listen, it's 1999. It replaces everything here. The spurtle. It replaces everything, including 
a meat mallet, if you didn't know. Including a meat mallet. So a meet and greet, where would this happen? Someone said that they'll fly here from wherever. They've got the easy pass. Oh, it's good. They've got their easy pass ready and they are ready to fly here. From you got to be careful are. with meet and greets. There was a YouTuber that just did a meet and greet. It was really sloppily done and he was like really, really super viral. And he did it in like Union Square in New York oh. and he got charged for inciting a riot. Now, I don't know the whole the details. I'd have to go look it up. So maybe it was maybe something he specifically oh, did was the reason. Good. But it was because of the chaotic nature of this event that people just showed up and Would all started fighting. Would be chaotic, though? No, so I don't think so. But I've seen other meetups where they're not organized, and it does get out of hand. And, like, the mall we has to shut down. Out of hand. It wouldn't just be gotta, unorganized. you got to do it the right way. I mean, obviously, you're going to do it the right way, but you got to make sure your venue Andy is had a great capable. comment. He said, any chance that we can have hubby and Laura cooking together? Well, I usually cook every night. Yeah, okay. So I'm exhausted. <laughs> He's cooking something up in that secret room. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. He began on my nerves. So. Mm. He began on my nerves. No. That's like, you know, this is like. This is my this domain. Is, no, don't come behind the island. You don't like, we need caution tape. I used to have some. I need caution tape at my house some. specifically. <gasps> when we don't go come behind the island. When, when I go to her house, I like to think I'm very special because I am the only one that she doesn't yell at because I'm the only one that can She's help her cook the island. and I'm the only one that can help her clean. I know where things go. I know how she likes things. We cook the same. I'm the only one she allows and she allows like her, my help and whatever. Anyone else, she literally goes, get out. Yeah, but it's no questions asked. So she, she I know what she needs. And when someone is, says yes. you need help and you can tell that there's a plate, a sink full of dishes, like, come on. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't mind. You got to do it my way. You got to wait till it's all cleaned up and then ask if you oh, I, know. I like Christine Conley. This must be your sister. I like her. Must be. You're right, girl. Sister from another mister. Joe has a man cave. Yeah, he has a secret room. I'm going to cook these in two batches because there's not going to be enough room. Ooh. Sam said, are you going to have a Thursday live that closes the summer with a bang? Would love to see it. We try to have a big summer feast at the end of every year. So Joe and I wanted to have like a fish fry. We could do like a big, maybe we could do the, um, like I could bring all fish and you could do the, the um, crab legs and stuff like that. We could do that outside. That's what I'm saying. That's mm -hmm. easy. Corn on the cob, mm -hmm. potatoes. We will plan it. Yes. For the 31st, August 31st. I'm hungry. We will plan it. We'll have Mike Barton. We'll have Joe. It'll be great. It'll be grand. Jersey baby. Um, Spurtle equals French toast. Oh, Nikki knows. Yeah, I do. I, I love my French toast. Just so you know, I've had this for an hour, and I've got about this much left. I, there's, I guarantee you that that is not even an ounce out of there. An ounce, not even an ounce is gone. I'm, I'm a cheap day. What do oh, you wait. say? So, MTL is Montreal. Oh, you were okay. right. All right. Is Spurtle Italian? Yes, I'm Italian and Native American. How about that? My mother's Italian. My father's Native American. See, this person knows what's up. G. Matthew, G. Matheny says, men are better cooks. I mean, that's why I cook every night. No, 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 no. My Joe burns spaghetti. That's, How does one? That's, it's ready. It's ready. All you have to do is boil the water. Now, he boiled the water down. He, like, oh. evaporated the water. How long did he cook the pasta for? So when I used to travel for work, my kids were like, Mom, could you just pre-make the food? So Sundays I would just pre-make everything. Mm -hmm. And all Dad had to do was heat it. I feel this. I thought MTL stood for my... What was it? Don't, don't. You guys no, were trying to guess no. earlier before we went live, and I think we need to not, not repeat our guesses. <laughs> no. It was like my tall, my tall lipstick. Like a real ridiculous, I couldn't figure out what that meant. So this one commenter said, what pleasant and fun people. Thank you. That is who we are. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a lot up there. We oh have God. a comment. ABC says, Duncan is going to start selling spiked Iced coffee, or sorry, so sorry, I think yeah, spiked iced coffee and teas. I guess they won't sell them at the stores in New Jersey because they don't have liquor licenses, but maybe they'll have them at like the liquor store will have it. Oh, okay. Mm, that's nothing for me. I need a large hot coffee with skim milk. Yeah, skim milk. That's all I need. Remember we went to a Thanksgiving one year and the, the turkey was still frozen in the oven? No. I just had this no. thought the other day. 
I'm gonna tell you what happened. Well, I'm, I, I mean, I don't want to name any names. I'm not naming names. We went to this. We were invited to Thanksgiving. Okay, this was like 2008, maybe. This is before Laura in the kitchen. Okay, but I've been a seasoned cook for a long time. Okay, we were invited to this Thanksgiving dinner, and I knew, I knew I was in trouble when we got there, and they were taking groceries out of their bags. I knew we were in trouble. Okay. <laughs> she had told me that the turkey was in the oven. So the turkey was cooking. So was the oven on. The oven was on. Maybe we were there a good four hours. Okay, dinner was like at four. Now it's eight o'clock, and we're like, "What is happening?" Her family is there. I'm starving. Oh no! She takes the turkey out, starts cutting it right away, and the turkey is frozen inside. We went to Ooh. Wawa after. Okay. <laughs> Wait, well, what, hey, they had the what gobbler. Did she say? They had the gobbler. It just like, came out. Oops! Back then. I didn't. I didn't realize it would still be frozen. I was like, "Well, it is." We're so. not even outside, and Andy wants to know what is the cute little house in the background when we film outside. Andy's commenting a lot. I love that. I love the comments. I love the comments. It's Andy. Papa Sal's house, basically. Ah! No. Don't put that in the universe. <laughs> well, when Papa no, Sal moves in, no, he's no, not no, moving no. into the actual house because this we've already we've here. already used up all the other rooms. No. So he can live in the in the little no shed. way. Yeah, it's a shed. We'll put an air conditioner on gardening. it. Yeah, we'll put an air conditioner on it, and Papa Sal could live upstairs. It has a little upstairs in it too. It's pretty cool. Great place for a bunk oh, bed. Oh, what what bouillon do you use? Nor. The one with the. And how do you spell it. that? Yeah. K-N-O-O-R. Or K-N-O-R-R. -R. <laughs> and that's the one. Why did the chicken cross the road? To say hello from the No, 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 no. You, you answered it already. Again. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because. <laughs> okay. No. Enough dad jokes for the day. <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? One. Give me a give me a hit. Ground beef. Oh yeah, forgot about this one. That was a good one. Ground beef. Oh, oh my god, seriously. What? The big cause one's still my favorite. The ground beef. Because. Okay. What other ones you have? Because you it, sent me. The, there were so many questions on. How did you meet? So many. Why I is know. her name fertile? I know. It's just a nickname. Will there be alcohol on Tasty Thursday? Does the Pope have a balcony? I, actually, does he anymore? Because he has like behind yeah, pla plexiglass all the time or whatever. He does. All right. So. So what's my favorite thing that she makes? Yeah. That's a good question. Also, who has the best dad jokes? Put them in the comments. <laughs> I love dad jokes. Laura hates dad jokes. Mia it's loves so dad jokes. It's so bad. It's so bad. I mean, they're. I'm a dad now. I need to know all the dad it's like jokes. Everything. So. If I go to a doctor's appointment, because I used to live around here and still some of my doctors are here, I'll text her and say, hey, what's for dinner? She goes, come over. It doesn't matter. I just eat anything, as mm -hmm. long as it's not tripe. I don't like tripe. You don't make tripe, do you? No. Good. Um, I don't make tripe. I don't make eel. I love eel, especially when they're electric. I used to make rabbit, but I don't anymore. Yeah, I'll see. My son and my husband love rabbit. Rabbit is good. I grew up eating rabbit. Does fertile so. like to cook? Yes. Yes. I was a latchkey kid in fourth grade. I'm going to wrap my parents out. So going into fifth grade, I was making chicken cutlets, mashed potatoes, popping open the green giant cream corn on the mashed potatoes. They had a meal when they came home. But that was because my mom taught me that Aww. that was important. Barb! Yep. Okay, so I'm going to actually go in here and pin the comment. If Laura will tell me again, uh -oh. what is it that we're making? I'm going to pin this comment. It's marinated. Marinated chicken. Greek, Greek. marinated chicken. Yeah. Tzatziki. Wait, Lemon how do you rice. spell that? T oh, girl. T-Z-I. I don't know. T Z I never know. T-Z-I-K-I. I always, I always. That's not enough, that's not enough syllables. T-Z. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to put good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And what else? Salad. Salad. Rice. And lemon rice. Oh, wait, we got jokes. Can you describe what octopus tastes like? Oh, that's not a joke. Um, so everybody in the pin comment, they're good stuff. Just means tzatziki because I can't spell tzatziki. It's and meaty. It's not, thing. it's not real fishy. No, I love grilled octopus. Oh, especially when it's charred. You have it with a little thing of lemon on it. Ugh. What did the horse say after it tripped? 
<laughs> Angel. This is from Angel. <laughs> Help, I've fallen and I can't giddy up. Why don't you go outside, me, uh, Laura, why don't, I almost called you Mia. Why don't you go outside when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. Oh my God, okay. Hey, hey, hello fam from MTL. We know what MTL means now. Montreal, MTL. I've been to I'm Montreal. Down with MTL. I want to go to MTL. I was so, I, my, first, my first and only time I ever went to Montreal I had obviously never been there before, but I was so shocked at the amount of Portuguese food everywhere. And it was some of the best food I've ever eaten. That wow. was one place, I can't remember the name of it, so don't ask. It was a hole in the wall. Hmm? Can you tag it and link it? I wish I could. <laughs> it's a little hole in the wall that made the best. Portuguese chicken. They were roasting chicken oh on like God. a spit and the potatoes were underneath and that's where I got my inspiration to make my Portuguese inspired chicken. Jordan, I'm saying your joke. Ooh, is it good? Knock, knock. Who's there? Goliath. Goliath who? Goliath down. You look tired. <laughs> <laughs> I have one for you. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's here? I eat my. I eat my what? No! <laughs> I eat my who? You eat your what? <laughs> You eat your what? This is a kid friend. Who? No way, I said it wrong. Oh, knock, look. knock. Hold on. Knock, knock. Who's there? I eat mop. I eat mop who? There you go. I, I eat mop who? No, I, no. What did the ocean say to the sand? Everybody knows this one. You live at the beach. Nothing, it just waved. Oh, oh I cannot. Come on, Joe. I read it out of the comments. Oh, look, they're one. spelling tzatziki right. T-Z-A-T-Z-I-K-I. Yeah, okay. Now they had, they had a the full number of syllables required for that word. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm one. Portuguese and I'm from French Montreal. Food. So MTL is officially Montreal. We have been to Montreal, actually. That was a good... I literally so, just said the story. Yeah, yeah we've been there. Uh, wait, wait Ooh. a minute. Hold on. Yeah, that's when you forgot to pack my underwear. Someone said... And I had to go buy underwear. Like and it was Calamari. terrible. Slept with no underwear <laughs> that night. Similar. And what did you... And learn? that was the last time Laura ever packed for me when I traveled. She yep. used to insist that she would pack for me no matter what, even if I was going alone. Like if I was going on a business trip. Because nope, you used to that pack was it. last minute. That was the end of that. that. All right, that was Annie, the end of that. Annie D. She's Portuguese and she's from MTL. So we need Annie D to make Lars Portuguese chicken and report back. Some people it's, have made it from Portugal and they said it's very good. It's yummy. It's so good. One of my favorites. What? Wait, what is a shark's favorite laundry detergent? I was just reading that. Tide. <laughs> Dead. Goodbye. All right, how's our chicken coming along? Let me get a good shot here. That looks beautiful. Let's zoom in on that. That's good. That's great. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell very good in here. Let me know if you need me to crank the fan up, because uh, probably not. It's not too smoky, but I can. No, it's really yeah. good. It's good. All right, so for people tuning in, we've got, we're making Greek chicken here, marinated Greek chicken. That's the chicken in the pot there. Over here, we have the salad. Mm. We have, um, I don't know what Laura did with the lettuce. It's wow. somewhere. We got Miss Bryn. A lot of people ask what's her real name. Spurtle's real Bryn. name is Bryn. Actually, Brian Erase. <laughs> One N. I am B-R-Y-N. No, I'm the Bryn. original Bryn. She's the original Bryn. Oh, and we have somebody who says they're in central New Jersey, which means they must be from, like, what, Cherry Hill? That's North Jersey, right? No, Cherry like Hill's Trenton, North Jersey. Hamilton. I mean, that's, we all have our central? own definition of central New Jersey. I thought it was good. Cherry Hill's North Jersey. Yeah. Gonna get out of the pot so it stops cooking. Trying to cooking. find you on here so I can show so what you yummy. just did there. Mm -hmm. Yum 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 yum. So it stops cooking. Where are you putting that in the back? Yeah. Hold on. Let me get. Let me. Let me. Let me see that. Stay. Here. Don't. Don't block my view. Here we go. Got it. Mmm. Beautiful. That's the rice, which Laura was squeezing lemon juice into the boiling water. People mm -hmm. were asking about that. Does that make it sweeter when you do that? By the way, when you put yeah. it in there before. So you know it what I like for people to compare it mm. if they go to. Is it chipotle or chipotle? Chipotle. Chipotle. So it's lemony, but it has, you know, it has the cilantro in it or mm -hmm. parsley. Kind of similar to that, but yeah. just, it's so good. It's delicious. Mm. It's so good. It just so smells so good. Yes! Why did the tomato blush? It saw the salad dressing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that took a minute. <laughs> Oh, Romado's. I think it might have been Romado's. It was like a small little place and it oh, was so good. so good. Why did 50 Cent do when he got hungry? 
Uh. <laughs> oh my These gosh. are grand. Here's the lettuce, Joe. Oh, oh yeah, the it's lettuce. soaking. In the salad spinner. That. I forgot about that. It's in the salad. You should use a spurtle for that. That's all right. I, I found it. Should use a spurtle. Put a shut up, I didn't. Duncan needs sponsor Laura already. I mean. Like, hello. I've been saying this. Come for years. on. I'm feeling very. Uh-oh. We have an empty set. I gotta find something to show you guys. I'm coming. I'm just getting a platter. I'm getting a platter. I'm getting a platter. Where's the salad spinner top? Oh, oh it's over back here somewhere. This is like the best invention ever. It really is. If you don't have a salad spinner, I'm convinced that that's why you're not having great salad. Oh yeah. You know what I think I want to do? I am going to say something. Woo! Well, you already put out into the universe that we're going to Italy. Oh, yeah. Doing it. I have a wild hair on my butt. What else are you going to say? I have an idea. I'm going to oh sear God, these. It smells so good. Now, you know what I'm thinking? You're going to slice them? Put them back in with garlic, mm. onion, and a little bit of lemon. Ow! Wad. Burnt. And I'm going to slice them up and put them in there with some... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to wait, though. Um, I'm going to do um, like Mike does. I'm a shimmy. I'm a shimmy. Mm -hmm. I'm a shimmy. Joe, how do you deal? How do you deal, How Joe? do I deal? Well, listen, if I didn't cook for myself every man. night, I'd starve to death because, you know, nobody feeds me around here. <laughs> what? The audacity. <laughs> he the didn't audacity. just say that. The audacity. I recently got a salad spinner, and I don't understand why it took so long to get one. Right? Right? Best invention ever. It's the... You do not eat good carrots if you don't have no salads. What the heck am I gonna do with a carrot? I'm sorry, I have my brain. Put somebody have another one. one. Cause <laughs> no, somebody said something about a carrot. Wait, what does the what does the garlic do before it showers? It peels. It takes its clothes off. Uh, why does the banana go to the doctor? <laughs> Cause it wasn't peeling too well. Mia taught me that one. How did Mia like kindergarten? Oh, she loved kindergarten. Mia loved kindergarten. She had a very tough time Leaving. with the end of the school. Yeah. She had a really tough time. She Somebody's, didn't want to leave. Somebody told me I'm full of Bologna. Bologna. He is. He is. So I have a daughter going into high school. Oh, my gosh. And my son will be a junior. I'm old. I'm not old. I'm old. I'm getting old. I feel old. You're not old. It's hot. It's very hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Oh, yeah. But it's very hot. Oh, okay. We're All right. That color. And then. We'll, we'll pour that over the salad later. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait for the lettuce. Uh, can there. I get a little peek of that chicken? There we go. Oh, it's so good. It wasn't peeling too well. You have to season your meat. Got to season the meat. Over season. season. Over yes, season. Always. Um, Laura, what does a nut say when it sneezes? Cashew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cashew. <laughs> That's my answer. Wait, What's the answer? Wait, they didn't the give the answer? Wait, no. you, you got to give the answer. Who, who Come on, it? Callie. We're going back to Callie. 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 Going, going back, back to Callie. Callie. I don't think so. Somebody says, Joe, have you ever seen those pop-up vents? For the island, I have, but the problem here is the heat goes up. So what I did was I put a ventilation system in the ceiling that's a variable speed and very, very quiet. So I can Come crank on, it up Callie, without making any noise for the microphones. I want the answer to this. That chicken looks delish. It really, I just want to finish it with some, lime, with some lemon juice, you know? <laughs> Wait, I can't see. Where do they eat? <laughs> I had frozen tomato sauce. Oh! So it's 
my family and the tomato sauce, they love it, but you have to put an onion in it. You have to, you know, the acidity yeah. just gets them. Mm. My daughter's texting me, telling me. I die. I die. I, I love cannot. that. I cannot. They wanted to be here, but everybody had something to do when they get older. That's the thing about this age that you're in right now Ugh. is that everybody's got something to do, right? Oh, my God. There's activities. There's different stuff. And you have two kids, so they're all different times. But the one thing that is my favorite thing, not my favorite thing, but... Something that I love and admire about this woman is her family comes first. First and foremost are her kids, right? But if if she's not home to cook, she's got things in the freezer. And not that I'm saying cooking is the end all be all of ways to show your family that you love. But, but to some way. people, it is a love language. To some people, it's how you express your love and gratitude for them. And to some people, that's how they receive it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you and I are those people yeah. where we love on people through food and we love back through food. Like when I go to her house, she always makes something I love. Something She makes everything I love, but like she'll make French toast because we love it. She'll make crabs because it's my freaking favorite. And it's a way of her saying, I'm happy you're here. Enjoy Here's your favorite, your favorite food. Thing. Yep. And, then, and then I feel like, and in turn, I look at it as she's happy I'm here. She's, she's comforting me, right? And I think your family receives that, yeah. as my family does. It's just a thing. I don't know how to really describe it. I really don't know how to describe it. Oh, my gosh. It smells so it's good. It's going to be amazing. I'm just going to thinly slice a little red onion, and I think combining it with that sliced chicken oh. is going to be the bee's needs. It's a little smoky in here. Crank it up. All right, I cranked it up. It's gonna be unsmoky here real quick. So I love red onion. A lot of people don't like red onion because they say it's so strong. Do you think did so? You, did you hear, um, I was 47 years old when I found out this <laughs> TikTok trick. I love TikTok. Uh, if you put red onion in ice water, slice it up and oh. put it in ice water, it takes that bitterness or, yeah, but I don't know. It does so the I, same, it does. I it like does that the same onion. thing as if you were put it on acid. It does the same thing. Somebody, somebody acid asked if... Acid pickles um, it, ice water just takes out some of I that really that. strong... I love that, but now flavor. I'm going to try it for my family. It see. works. Why what? aren't you using the spurtles? Girl, I can't get that out. It's only $19.99. Nobody's <laughs> buying it, Laura. I... They're not buying it. I don't think anyone's going to buy it. I'm going to try. Them. Laura, we got a question from a viewer that says, Do you watch Jersey Shore? I used to. Check your monitor. I taught them how to cook. There I am. Look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, yeah. I taught them how to cook. Um, but I don't watch the new seasons. It's just not oh. really. I'm too old. Too Jackie. old. They're our age now. Well, yeah, we've always been our age. Can you watch They're not one? my age. How much can you watch them? Ugh. How much can you watch somebody get drunk on a weekend? Like, you know what I mean? So Jackie says, how do you mix up dinner so you don't feel like you're cooking the same thing over and over? I got the answer to that. You go to lauravitale.com. Laurainthekitchen.com. Yeah, lauravitale.com. I need another white cloth. And you just start with A. And you go down the first recipe and you just mix it up. I'm telling you, easy. I don't know that I have an answer to this. I cook so much. And I test recipes every day, so there's always something going on, yeah. something new. However, here's something that I feel like we need to normalize. And I talk about this a lot on Instagram. I think that you need to normalize going and ha like having go-to recipes. Like, oh, yeah. you know when your kid's been out of town, he wants nothing more than a chicken cutlet. Chicken you know cutlets, that. Mashed you potatoes, know that, yeah. right? You need to normalize being okay with having those ro in your rotation on a weekly basis because they're go-tos. You don't have to think about it if you're busy. You know your kids are going to eat them. Well, we have it. I mean, my kids know Wednesday night is chicken cutlet and soup in the wintertime. Like, we have chicken cutlet oh, yeah. and a fresh pot of soup yeah. every Wednesday. You've always done that. Yep. And, you know, Sunday's always pasta, meatballs, or maybe like a big oven stuffer, stuffer roast or something that will carry on through the week to lunches or mm -hmm. another dinner. 
And you yep. take all the bones and that's when we make the soup. You see how it flows? Yeah. But you're right. I mean, a lot of stuff is... I think you need to normalize that. You don't, you don't need a new meal plan every single week. I can't imagine how easy that is for a working parent. That's not. It's just not feasible. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be able to rely on things because there is no way that you have the, the strength, the creativity, or the excitement, quite frankly, to cook something new every week. I mean, no. I, I don't. I mean, I do because I have to. <laughs> For work reasons, but there are some weeks where I'm either reshooting some old classics or I just don't feel like it, and I just don't. That's it. One of my favorites are her cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah. Yes. Fall is coming. The the time of the sticky buns and the oh, cinnamon man. rolls. They're so good. They are pretty spectacular. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one, especially the overnight ones that are just so easy. They're so easy. They don't take much time. I think that cook a little bit more. So now I did your marinade with shrimp. Oh and yeah. And I put chicken and shrimp. The one day I had um, a friend of mine come over down the shore and her son loves this and she loves this recipe. So she's always like, I want that Greek chicken. So I added shrimp and we did roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob. Oh, it was so good. It's so good. It's just easy too, because if you can make a double batch, if you can, if you can marinate a double batch, and you can have fresh that night, chop up the rest and put them in quinoa bowls, Caesar wraps, yep. Yep. BLT wraps, yep. put them on salads, because it is kind of a neutral marinade. I yeah, think. Yeah, it is. It's not like you taste it and you go, oh, it's too lemony and won't go with this or whatever. Yeah, or I don't like the, the herbs, the dill. Right, or it's this. just, it's pretty mild. It's a pretty mild, um, you gotta try that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mapine. Oh my God. Papa Sal's mapine. Papa Sal and the mapine. And he loves to wipe down the counters. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm not wiping down the Onto the counter. floor, by the way. Onto the floor. Yep, 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 yep. If That's only he was here after and had to listen Someone to Laura. Someone said Laura is all about VPR. What is VPR? Bearing the Pump Rules, only the oh, best reality show that. of all times. I thought it was like, v like Have VIP. you watched it? No, so listen, listen. That's one thing that we're oh. not... Listen, I like the um, Selling Sunset. Oh, I can't get into that. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're selling multi-million dollar homes. And guess what? All these houses have these doors that open up. Yeah. And there's wow. no bugs. Um, yeah, how is that, is that? that? California people, are there no bugs in California? Like when you open those doors and then you close them at night, are there no flies? I need to know. Inquiring minds need to know. Well, I actually just recently saw a study that says that less bugs get hit by windshields on cars now than they did 30 years ago. Why? There's just less bugs. That's interesting. Angels that starting. Pumpkin spice everything. I was bored. <laughs> Listen, it's not pumpkin season, it's soup season, okay? I do enjoy me a pumpkin. Can I just tell you? I haven't even told you this. Listen, I don't want summer to end, but because no. of what I do for a living, I have to think a season ahead, okay? Cinnamon roll shortbread bars. Tested. Mm. I die. Okay? Wait. Laura always asks me for ideas for recipes, and I always tell you her the same made? thing. I did. Like, Shortbread I always give her these crazy ones. my favorite cookie on the planet. Nuh uh. Yes, like my omelette chocolate. So, why? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. But see, I don't make them. She wants to make them. <laughs> shortbread, a cinnamon roll filling, more shortbread, topped with a glaze that is out of this world, brown sugar, cream cheese. Oh my stars. Wait till you taste. Okay. It's I'm phenomenal. Ready. Oh my so stars. a lot of people like VPR. Count me out. I couldn't get past episode one. Who bartender? Who's nah. coming in? I'm coming from the other restaurant. You <laughs> have <laughs> to watch uh -huh. VPR. Please. I can't. See? So, the, okay, so Slim K, we have mosquitoes and flies. But how are they leaving everything open? Because they have a screen that. and you no, just can't see No, there's no screen. It. These are the nano doors. I think that's what they're called. These are the doors. A nano they, door. Yeah, they just are accordion doors. They like, yeah. the whole house is a door, a window. It's like the Barbie dream house. I haven't announced this yet, but I'm going to announce it now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't get excited. You know how I did salad week in January? Guess doing? who's doing soup week first week of October? Oh, I love soup week. 
I'm in. Count me in. Pew, 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 pew. On Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, Mrs. Vitale. M R S V I T A L E. Be there. Oh, be I see square. somebody likes selling sunset. Katie. Katie. She, you and I. she likes That's the nano doors. Yeah. Oh my what god. What she meant to say, Bryn, is she likes the nano doors. I can't even get into the Real Housewives anymore. My favorite franchise that I still keep up with, don't judge yes, me. Yes, Patricia, the is marinade the is OC. in her website. Because <laughs> the rest are so mean. And I just can't. I just can't. What, with Selling Sunset? No, no, Real Housewives. Oh, I can't, I can't watch that. The rest, like Jersey. I started so watching in the beginning. Mean. You know what I like? So I like somebody else's drama. Right, so it's my. Yeah. I think it's like mindless. Yeah, it is mindless thinking. So when I shut down from work and you know dealing with kids and everything, I like to watch something that I yeah, that, makes that sense. I laugh at and I go, oh my god, like who wears designer stuff all day long? God bless them. They look really good all dressed up, but I can't go to work looking like that. <laughs> Listen, my question is, is that on Amazon? <laughs> no, it's not. I, I love it. Is. You might find it though. And I, I, I will be on the hunt for it. You know it. See, million dollar listing. I like that one too. I can't do it. Can't do it. It's just, it's too, it's just not me. What is the one food that you refuse to eat? The one oh, Joe, food. that question's for you, Joe. Oh. I, honestly, I don't think he refuses anything. No, there's nothing oh. I refuse. Well, there is one thing. It's, I know. It's, it's an egg that has a chick that's. No. Nope. I won't eat those. What's that one? Moo. Oh, see, it's all delicacies. Everything I don't like is yeah. delicacies in some yeah. part of the Who world. Who eats cow lips? Me! Laura eats what? cow lips when we go to Italy, and they're like Are raw. Are you kidding me? They're this raw. They're not raw. They're, okay, let me explain. <laughs> when you go to Italy and you're walking around. Do this, not feed me cow right? lips. If you go to Naples, you're going to find them. They have them in these like in carts. green carts that have water. It's not just cow lips. And, and they run say. water over them okay. all day. They call them uberio musa. I'm not eating cow and lips, and I'm not eating the egg with the baby chick. I hate to break it to you. Uberio musa. And it's not just lips. So if she says that word, I am not eating. It's You'll intestines. See it. It's tripe. It's feet. <laughs> and it's, it's not lips. cooked. It don't look cooked to me. It's cooked. It's boiled. They run water like on scrapple? it. It's like scrapple? No. Not doing it's it. It's boiled, and then they cut it. I'm going to show you. Oh. I don't think. No, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I'm going to eat chicken. No. No. Is that chicken? Did that come out? I got to find it. That's real chicken there. I bought it. It's not cow this lips. This one. Look. I'm chicken. This, this is what you need. It's, it's chicken. <laughs> this is what you need. Okay, hold on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's from Russell. Well, in the meantime, let's look at this beautiful salad before we have to watch cow lips on YouTube. <laughs> Y'all are extra, okay? Come on. I it's don't know. Delicious. What is the purpose of the running water, Laura? Okay. What does it do? I think it's. I think it's like. Instead <gasps> no, of... it don't even look good. Let's go, Trish. She puts so? it on a stick and she walks around Let's Naples with it. Oh my God! They cut it up and put lemon and salt. Come on, look at this. Mm, I, 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 I didn't know this coming into this, this relationship. Right? I didn't, no, I did not. They sign boil up for it this. and then they they run cold water over top. Ubero mousse, delicious. Yeah, and for Ubero next half, mousse. for the next hour and a half. Why won't you kiss me, honey? This mo, he wouldn't even Joe? kiss me. Joe. Joe. I'm belly. Look how beautiful. No, and we're going to put that into Nona. We're going to say no tripe and no uber muso. <laughs> no. <laughs> she won't cook it. Sorry. She can't cook it. You have I mean, to there's like, people who don't like hot dogs. I used to not like hot dogs. I, I eat like hot dogs. Who doesn't like hot dogs? You know what? The cow lips are off the yeah. chart. Nope. Who doesn't like hot dogs? Not doing it. What kind of person? I love... Well, you do now. You didn't used to, but you do now. Mike is in Italy. No. no. Greece. Greece. We think. <laughs> we're not sure. We're no, not really sure. Greece. He's in Greece. Wait, you, you gave it to me. Whatever you had earlier, you gave to me. The thought process. Right. I, I message Mike. Mike's on a, a few hours later, he comes back and says, I'm, I'm alive, and it's 1.27 in the morning. I don't know. Oh, wait. Look, Mary said, Bryn, no bugs. My daughter lives in Newport Beach, first of all. I want to move Oh, and to they Newport have tarantulas. Beach. Yeah, in Newport California. Newport Beach is nice. Got to shut the door. I can't afford it. But... But uh, but you can uh, you can watch the ha the houses on Selling Sunset, mm -hmm. and it, they're just they're just really gorgeous. They're very I can't modern. afford it. They're very modern. I can't afford it. One day, look at this. Look at this. A little bit of mm. parsley here. A little bit of parsley there. Okay. I think we are wrapping up. I think we are. Let's go. One recap of what we have here. We made. Greek chicken that you can grill, you can sear, you can bake. I just cooked it in a, in a cast iron skillet because Mother Nature's Raining. against me today. And then I sliced it so that I could finish it with some onions and lemon. Tzatziki. 
a nice salad with that marinade and juice to turn into a dressing. It's phenomenal. Lots of mint, lemon rice. Mm. Missing anything? And me. And you. And we've got fresh bread. Oh, fresh bread. We've got wet napkins. We've mm. got rotini. The wet napkins for everybody who doesn't know. It is time. Oh, wet napkins are just known as marinated eggplant. But this means it's time that we've come to a close. Yeah. It is the end of the day. The end of the episode. No! I know. <laughs> I know. Next one will be August 31st. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. Next one will be August 31st. We will close it out with a bang. Mm -hmm. We are going to start doing them once a month rather than every two to three weeks simply because I hear a lot from you guys saying it's hard for you to make it every two weeks but you want to come watch live. So I think we'll have a better turnout in terms of so many more of you will be able to watch live if it's once a month. Um, so we're going to do that. But let's do the 31st of August so we can close out summer with a bang and then just figure that out going forward. Yep. We may do like the end of August and then we may do one two weeks later only to then start the month on like a an early, uh, like beginning of the month rotation. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Instead of like waiting for the Will you post the, the dates ahead yeah. of time? Yep. Yeah, there yep. you go. Yep. Um, thank you for joining us. Been a pleasure. So much fun. Shared my bestie with you. It's a big deal. Um, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.